Welcome, welcome! It's Mud Dog with the Texas Space Navy. I'm bringing another Star Citizen video, and in this video, it's all about mining. So we're going to kind of go over more specifics on mining, and I'll try to walk you through the whole process if you're new to mining or it's something you're interested in doing. As you can see, we have an Argo Mole in front of us, and uh, right now, my partner in crime for the day, uh, which is Texas Vindicate from uh, my organization, Texas, he's doing some first person mining. Uh, so he found, we found a rock uh, that was mineable and then on that rock there was mineable rocks. So the, you can get both on the same asteroid or you know where you can actually get something that you have to EVA out to mine and then you can mine the bigger rock with your ship. So that's a definite possibility of something you you can find out in one of the asteroid belts. So uh, is my partner EVA is back into the Argo mole. Mining can be lucrative if you're selective and if you take a lot of time. Uh, the only reason why I say cargo running is a much better way to earn money is because you can do it quicker. Now, in the current state of the game, mining is less risky. If you're running cargo, you have a chance of losing a lot of money if a server crashes or if somebody blows you up or you crash or, or anything like that. Whereas mining, if you blow up, crash, server crash, you just lose what's on your ship and just have to claim your ship through insurance. Now, in the future, mining may be fairly risky because, you know, you can only die once and there's a good chance that if an asteroid or a mineable rock blows up in your face, it could damage you enough to die. So, something to keep in mind whenever you are doing this in the future. As of right now, mining is less risky. You're not having to actually put up any alpha UEC to, I guess, to, uh, you know, up front. Whereas a cargo running, you're you're buying the material and you're going someplace else where you're selling it, hopefully, at a profit. So if you lose it any time in between, you're out all that money and it's kind of like starting over. So when you mine, the first thing you have to do is wherever you're going to look for mineable rocks, whether you're flying along a planet's surface or in asteroids, you need to press uh, the tab button. Now it could be different if you've changed some of your key binds around, uh, but the tab button, and I have a joystick button set up for it as well, but that'll switch to scan mode, and then you can hold down your trigger uh, to send out a scan pulse, and that pulse will let you know if there's a mineable rock anywhere nearby. A big uh, square cube will appear like a blue framed cube with a rock somewhere in there and the closer you get uh, you'll have to scan again and again until you get close enough that you can identify which rock it is and then you'll have to actually go into mining mode. Now check your keyboard layouts, your uh, customized buttons on what that button is. I I think for some people it's M. Um, I have mine set up to joystick, so it's just an easy click of a button and I'm switching over into fracture mode, which you can see right now. Fracture mode, once you've identified the rock and what's in it, like this one has agricum, copper, and tungsten, you then have to click the trigger button to apply the laser to turn the laser on. You just click it once and it'll turn on and be a constant. And then you're going to raise the power of the laser until you see the rock energy level increasing. It's keyed to the mouse wheel if you want to do it that way. I also have that keyed to a joystick, like a slider on a joystick or a throttle if you want to call it that, to where I can throttle my laser using that. Um, so you'll throttle it up and what you have to do is you have to keep it in the green zone, which is the safe zone. Orange is not safe. It's not, it's not, I mean, sorry, orange is safe, but it's not, 
putting enough in to fracture the rock. Whereas red is unsafe, and if you keep it in red too long, you'll overcharge the rock and it'll explode. And it could cause damage to you or to the ship. Okay? So, make sure you try to keep it in the green. So you'll have to put enough energy into it that it gets in the green, and then you're going to have to back off on the laser throttle so that it stays in that green zone. It's not as hard as it may seem. Uh, you'll just have to get the hang of it after trying it a few times. Uh, you can do it on, you know, in first person mining as well, which we'll go over in a minute. But basically, that's what you want to do. Once you have fractured these rocks into smaller pieces, you're going to have to scan them again. And the way you scan it is just hover your cursor, what your your central spotting reticle over those rocks. You can see they're already highlighted. Some of them are like a uh, light lighter color and then when you highlight it, it'll turn orange or purple. So if it turns orange, you're gonna have to hit that with the laser again to break it up even more. If it's purple, you can then put the extractor on it and start taking in those material that, uh, that you've mined. So here you can see that this one's orange. It's still 526.62, I guess, kilos. I'm not really sure what the measuring the weight measuring is but uh, the mass is 526.62 so we're fracturing it again as you can see I'm keeping it in the green zone I got out a little bit and then we're back in it and so we're gonna try to fracture this rock again and on the right side you can see the fracture sensor so that has to reach hundred percent for the rock to break and there we have achieved it the rock breaks and now you see there's purple pieces if your cursor's over and it turns purple, that means you can extract all the material from that rock. Now you can also see the, the percentages over here on the right. Those percentages are how much of the rock is that material, and they don't always equal 100%. The ones that equal 100% are usually the good ones, but not all resources sell for the same thing. Um, if you go to www.space4games.com slash en slash star hyphen citizen hyphen en slash star anyways let, look up star citizen mining guide I'm not gonna go through that whole thing um, maybe I'll try to link it below but they have a fantastic guide on what minerals are worth how to mine where to where to find the uh, minerals you know when to actually start extracting those rocks if you want to be efficient um, so there they have a category listing for each mineral or material that you find in the rocks and how much they're worth so I would go there put mark that page it's a fantastic page uh, for you guys to uh, discover more about mining that more than I can go into here and it tells you more about each mineral where to find them and how much you will get for each uh, so that's a great resource to go to and once you have these rocks split up it does take some time and you usually have to hit your original rock you'll have to hit it two or three times uh, the pieces as they break up to get them down to manageable extraction size. As you can see, I have overcharged this rock and the overcharge sensor has gone up. I just turned the laser off and off of the rock and now I can put some charge back in it. As you can see, the fracturing sensor is going up. The overcharge is finally coming down. So if, it, if you get into the red zone, it's not gonna break right away. So you don't have to worry just turn the laser off or remove it from the rock and let it cool down a little bit before you reapply it also I would throttle the laser down a little bit so that you're not overcharging it immediately when you apply it back on the rock so I actually wanna put my laser all the way down to the lowest setting when that happens and just build back up okay because you can't undo an exploding rock once it explodes it's done so as you can see, I'm going to extract this one. So the extractor laser, I also have that set up 
is a joystick bind. I would make sure you get all your key binds set up the way you want to in settings before you do all the mining and stuff. Just makes it easier. As you can see in the first person mining, it's much like the ship mining where you have to keep it in the green zone between that yellow line and the green line, but out of the red zone, you don't want to overcharge the rock and you've got to put enough energy into it to break it. The difference also though is that in ship mining the rock breaks up and you'll still have to keep putting the laser on it. Whereas a first person mining right now when the rock breaks up, that's it, you just pick it up and stow it, which I highly recommend you put in a max flex rucksack. Buy one of those, buy the utility, uh, the multi-tool and buy a mining laser for it. So you've got to have those three items for it to work in first person mining or for you to be able to do it. So you can get those at uh, Levski, Hurston, Port Olisar. There's a lot of different places you can pick those up at. You'll just have to explore a little bit and get some money to do it. That's it for now. I'm Mud Dog with the Texas Space Navy. We'll see you out in the verse.